Okay, so welcome back. What are you going to rant about today? Oh, I'm not going to rant. I'm going to be uh, unusually positive about something. And okay, I know knowing... what you're talking about. So I, I, I'm, I'm having my, th uh, my opinions. Okay, I, I'm getting ready for your uh, splash of, uh, let's say, uh, black hole opinions, in a sense. Okay. So uh, Google is buying something that comes out of our country. Very proud of that, and not being sarcastic at all. So the Photomath application is something that Google is looking into buying. And a couple of days ago, uh, also a new story broke that the EU antitrust regulators have uh, set a deadline to check whether or not that uh, is something that Google is going to be able to do. That's 28th. So to, uh, let's say that's going to be uh, to that yeah, this Tuesday, Tuesday 28th. Yes. I like that application a lot. I used it a couple of times. Um, Google says that uh, they want to include Photomath technology to help Google enhance its ability to provide better math learning experiences to students, helping to build out Google's homework help offerings for users. So I like that a lot, uh, uh, especially if they continue dying, uh, going down the development path that they had so far. But I'm guessing that you're going to have some, uh, let's say, different, maybe some of the s same ones, maybe some different opinions. So Please take the stage, and I'm ready for everything that you can throw at this. Now, first, first and foremost, I'm extremely happy for the Photomat team because Great. we know a couple of them, and uh, we should be proud of them because it's not a small feat to do it. Correct. Uh, they started with something that was insane from the start, mm -hmm. and uh, looks looks insane even now, mm -hmm. uh, after what three, four, or five years uh, down the, down the road. Mm -hmm. A photomat works great. Mm -hmm. I've tried it, uh, and it's an amazing application. But can you please try to explain to me why is uh, AI and GPT and whatever bad for the education environment, mm -hmm. and photomat at the, st at the same t time is good, even though photomat as such is actually a tool that can be used to completely cheat on the math uh, exams. Okay. So, because uh, it's not hallucinating. It's actually a math tool that, that knows the mathematics behind it. I, I love the fact that you were mentioning this because I didn't know what you were going to say. I was sure it's going to be trolling me. And I love that, the fact that I can always count on you to troll everything that I said in the past and put another different set of lights on it. So here's my re retort to that. Thing number one, you cannot use a mobile phone while you're doing an exam. Therefore, Photomath okay. is unusable while you're doing an exam. That's the answer to the first part of your question. No, that's going to, I think, be, be, be permanent. Otherwise, I don't see the point of uh, real-life education anymore. But that's a topic for another day. The second part of the story is related to ChatGPT. Uh, yes, we, we had a recent experience, as we already mentioned, with uh, uh, one of the students using it. So we threw him out of the classroom for that, and he's going, he also got reported to the disciplinary committee, with which we have to do. That's a, like official framework that's been set for these sorts of uh, situations. But uh, from our perspective, it's beside the point because we uh, used our firewall to deny access to ChatGPT from all of the classrooms, and there is no way for them to access that. Um, so... I don't see the relationship between the two of uh, two, two of these things because they are going to end up in the same, uh, let's say, in in the same black hole of not usable tools while they are doing the exams. I have no problems with uh, Photomath as an application that is uh, that is used for, for let's say learning mathematics, and that's something that it can do for you, specifically for the reasons that are very very rational. And first and the foremost of them is the fact that it does things correctly. ChatGPT doesn't. It has a lot of holes in the knowledge. It's a language model. And uh, unlike that, uh, the Photomat is actually doing, you know, you can you know, take a camera shot of an equation. It's going to solve it for you correctly. That's the major difference for me. Okay. Yes, yes, we, we, are completely, we are completely on the same page uh, when it comes to this. But uh, right now, uh, buying Photomath is uh, something that Google has to do. 
Okay. Because it actually completely fills the void that uh, all the uh, chat GPTs of the world are right now creating. Mm -hmm. Because they are pretty, let's say, pretty bad uh, at uh, mathematics. They are basically completely unable to understand how mathematics work. They are unable to understand uh, basic algebra mm -hmm. because they are lexical uh, tools. Things. Basically, they are yeah. not. Ba Basic, basically, they are not based on in any, any way or form in, on mathematics, mm -hmm. so they are unable to solve anything for anything. And this is the piece of the market that uh, Google is going to fill with Photomat, and this is completely okay. Yes. Uh, I don't see Photomat uh, staying only the application that is going to be run on the mobile phone and be on your own, be able to be run using your camera. Okay. So. I can see it. I can see it being a classroom companion for you to be able to learn mathematics. So you're going to ask it mm -hmm. questions about the mathematics, not only uh, solve the uh, solve given uh, uh, formulas from the paper. So I can see this happening. Okay. I and uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. And if Google search is a tool that enables you to find information, if uh, ChatGPT is a better tool to help you find information, okay, albeit being uh, problems with uh, hallucinations and the information <laughs> being completely off the scale. Uh, if you take a look at the photomat, it's the first tool that actually is able to completely change the way the uh, teaching is done. Correct. Because because uh, descriptive mathematics is something that is a problem for a lot of, per a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to understand and describe things and having somebody to probe when you want to learn something is something that everybody wants to see. And I see that a lot of people are going to lose their job uh, teaching mathematics after work to a lot of students. Okay. Because if you have the motivation, Photomat is there for you. But on the other hand, Photomat was there for you for, uh, for the last uh, couple of years. So mm. no big change there. Photomat was high on the application, uh, on the application downloads in all the stores anyways, mm -hmm. when people understood what, what, what it's able to do. So I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to see any, I don't expect a lot of other changes there. Mm -hmm. I can okay. just see it, mo it moving to another platform to be able to run, uh, to run from the desktop and to be able to be run from the, any browser, uh, whatever that is. Okay, I have two things to add to this. Thank you for mentioning this because there is a confession to be made here. You mentioned uh, something along the lines of people not understanding mathematics, but not from the perspective of knowledge. It's more from the perspective of, let's say, uh, parsing through it in a sense of you give them an assignment, they don't understand what you're asking them to do. Or even on a deeper level, maybe they don't have the understanding, the mental understanding of what, you, what you're asking for uh, them to do on, a, let's say, mathematics class, primary school, secondary school. I did have quite a few experiences with this when I was way younger, but I was always the, the lucky, you know, dude there, as mathematics was something that I was always good at, and that was okay for me. And I was pretty dismissive back then about, uh, you know, people saying, but I cannot understand this. And I was always like, how can you not understand how, you know, cosine works or something like that? But uh, having, uh, having said that, after... You know, many years have passed since then. I've met people who have real problems with understanding certain, let's say, uh, science-related topics like mathematics, physics, chemistry. Uh, also, having had the chance to read a couple of uh, papers, in, actually in the past couple of months about this. Uh, I'm actually kind of sorry for being that dismissive some 20, 30 years ago with my, some of my students, some of my colleagues, especially in the secondary school, because... Yeah, I think I was being a little bit of a prick, but that was then uh, and now is now. So that's the first thing of the story, uh, all that I wanted to, so the first topic of the story that I wanted to say. The second part of that, photomaths of the world have been invented 30 years ago. They are called HP calculators. Okay, but then we are, uh, I'm not completely, I'm not completely with you on that. Uh, because HP calculators were invented 40 years ago, we are old. That's important, uh, yes. And th this is the first. This is the first thing. And the other thing is that uh, HP calculators have always uh, required a lot of a quite steep uh, learning curve. So a lot of knowledge 
of mathematics and uh, languages and Polish reverse Polish notation and so on and so on to be able to be used correctly. C can I tell you if something? You sorry, sorry to interject. Can I tell you something? After yes. many, many years of using HP calculator, I started using them basically in uh, secondary school, basically first first, uh, first uh, grade secondary school. And I used them all the way to college. I'm completely with you, but uh, I wanted to uh, uh, say something semi-funny. At least for the two of us, it's going to be funny. I think in RPN. I don't know how to think in the other, any other way. Uh, the problem is that uh, almost all the people do. Yeah. And uh, I think that normal mathematics is not something that you uh, formally uh, understand. You need to... It's same as, uh, as it is for the people who uh, are left-handed and they uh, need to learn to, uh, to write with your right hand. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, when we are thinking about uh, elementary mathematics, mm -hmm. uh, the normal way of thinking is, I have these two numbers, I need to add them. Mm -hmm. And this is reverse Polish. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have one number, then I want to do the operation, then I'm going to have another number. Mm -hmm. You always think about the numbers first, mm -hmm. and then you say, okay, I need to uh, add this, this together. Mm -hmm. So this is the way the brain is actually thinking. It's thinking about the data it wants to do, and then after that, the operation it is, it is like he wants to do. So this is something that's completely normal. There is nothing to be afraid of there. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm probably the same. I, I, don't have, I don't have any problems with uh, saying, okay, I don't know how to... Uh, okay, I need to make my brain think formally when I need to use a calculator. Okay. If it's not able to do a reverse polish. You do realize that all of the uh, Texas Instruments people are going to hate us if they see this, what we just said. Uh, On multiple I levels. I think they are, just, they are just differently handed. Let's, let's call it that. Uh, we are not going to uh, point any, any fingers at anybody. I'm just going to say that I think that the normal way of thinking about mathematics is uh, in reverse Polish. Mm -hmm. But this is something that, uh, that can be said. I'm also the guy who thinks that Joe is the best editor in Linux. So, uh, Joe. Joe, yes. Thank you it's for much that. much quicker to use. It's much... It's much quicker to use than the VI, and it's uh, much smaller than uh, Emax. So uh, <laughs> much smaller than Emax. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Me, uh, you know what? Uh, if we are talking about Joe, then because we are getting close to the end, how about we do Control KX in Joe? Uh, let's do a Control K uh, KQ, and uh, we'll <laughs> see what, what will happen next. Thank okay. you. See you later. See you later. Bye. Guys. Bye.